everyone welcome back to the channel and yet another video today you can see we're back in uh, the motor home up at the storage yard though today uh, and I've come up here to do a couple of jobs one I'm going to be adding an extra plug socket in the bedroom and two changing the normal USB A's to um, these ones here which are USB C and USB a, as you can see on there so I've got best of both worlds how everything is now coming to be uh, USB-C we haven't got any uh, of them chargers in here so we're going to use adapters or plug sockets so uh, today I've come up to do that and I'll share how I'm doing it so right walking into the bedroom area as you can see here we've got a light switch on this on the this side and the USB WSB one one is a five volt one amp and a five volt two point one amp and on the other side we've got a plug socket and the light switch for the light above what I'm intending to do is take these ones out put a triple one of these in and put a light switch a plug socket and a USB C USB A there and then do the same that side uh, light switch plug socket and USB C and A but to do this all you've got to do is like like before with all the other ones in this like this type just pull the front fascia off it should clip off it does and you face with four screws it'll be the same on that side as well face plate off and for and under the four screws and to, to do this job you're going to need a small potty drive screwdriver take out the small screws but be careful because they are really small so we'll make, make a start on this side try not to drop them And what I've done, I've actually bought a triple of the same same thing. All we'll have to do now is do the other side as well and pull them out, and then we'll see where we get where we uh, are then. Well, that's both uh, fascia plates pulled off now. Just got to see now how much wire we've got. Seems to be quite a bit, and that's fine. Yeah, there's loads of wiring. Just do the plug socket and the one the other side. My oh, porky bay have been generous and get us loads of plug wire socket wire in. That will do nicely. I'll be able to join that into there. And that's all the sockets out. What we've got to do now is offer the, uh, the backing plate up and see where we've got to cut. So obviously there's got to be another old cut there. Bailey always cut out these squares, but I've only got a round circle uh, saw, so I'll be cutting a round hole out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this face plate over the original screw holes and just draw around and see where we've got to go to. I'll uh, just do that now. What I've done, I've put the uh, triple plate on and just pulled the wires through just to uh, keep them in place so they don't drop down the back. And now I'm just going to put uh, a couple of screws in the original holes so I can find out where the face plate fits and uh, see where I've got to drill the hole. Put a couple of screws in to make sure that it stays level. Getting a bit closer, you can see now where the hole is where I've got a cut. So 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mark out the hole there where it fits and then uh, we'll go from there. Just draw around that square now. Do it one more time. I know that's where the square's got to go. What I've got to sort out now is uh, the old for the backing plate to go through because basically that wide don't drop back down basically i've got a mechanol to fit this through this is the old one at the moment the new one as i says that's got us uh us two usbs this one's got a usb c and a usb a and the usb a on this one is also a qc3 quick charge as well so that i'll charge the phones a little bit quicker one thing to note when you're changing these over there is a plus and a minus. So the red wire goes onto the plus and the white wire to the minus. You do have to laugh, I've just taken out the uh, USB out of the, so uh, the blank socket and look at the shape of that hole that uh, Bailey had uh, done. That's behind, the, that's behind the scenes workmanship that is. You can't beat stuff like that. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill a small pile of hole to make a start. That's that done, that's the start of it. Now I'm going to use the circular saw blade to make the hole. The scary bit. And that's the hole cut out then. That was really hard work. That aluminium is really tough. All I need to do now is uh, take a bit of this off here, this wood off here. I'm going to cut that off and uh, then try mounting the uh, sockets. Well, that's these two bits now cut out. I just used the junior axle for that. Looks a bit of a mess like that, but uh, when it's got the, uh, the cover on it and the plug socket on it, you ain't going to see uh, any of that. Now, now it's down to doing the other side exactly the same putting the, the uh, mounting plate on, cutting the hole, and I'll come back to you when I've done the other side too. Well, that's the other side cut out now. Yes, it does look a little slightly different because after breaking several uh, drill bits and the old cutter blade as well, because that aluminium or stainless steel, whatever it is on there, that strip, it's so tough, it's unreal. Um, I decided to try and use the junior axle, which actually got through it a lot easier. So that's how I've done it with the axle. Um, and now it's just a matter of fact now of uh, connecting the USB up, making a little lead up to go from one USB port to the other one. And then, because uh, Bailey had been so kind and left us all that uh, plug socket wire, it's just putting it across, cutting it, drawing it into the uh, plug socket. And, uh, and what I've done, I made up a little lead, crimped some... Uh, spade connectors on the end and uh, what i'm going to do i've used the piggyback uh, spade connectors so i shall put the original wiring into these two put them onto the one on the driver side and then just feed this across and put it into the one on the other side all right here's the usb socket c and the a and like i said before what i've done the red and the white wires are the original bailey wires I've used the piggyback connector to run the both connectors and then I'll just pass it through the back of the thing over and into that USB socket there. All that's left to do now is get that wire and do exactly the same as Bailey have done. Cut the wire, run it into the plug socket one side and out the plug socket the other and we'll get on and do that now. As you can see, I've run the white wire through now, which is the uh, original Bailey uh, 13 amp uh, plug socket wiring. Luckily, I ain't had to change the wiring because there's enough there. One thing to know, always make sure that you, when you're dealing with 240 volt electrics, that one, you're not plugged into the uh, mains when you're doing anything like this. And also, uh, what I've done, I've turned the RCA off as well on the, uh, the breaker board. 
of the motor home so that uh, there's definitely no power in there because obviously i'm going to cut through the cables now um and cutting through with a power plot uh, with a power side cutters uh if it was switched on could cause you electric shock so as you can see on the right hand side there's plenty of wire come through i can actually drop the, the plug socket out that's the plug socket there with this box around it and now i'm going to do the same here with this one i'm just going to cut it in the middle there and there's still plenty of wire to hang down and do it so here, here goes well no electric shock so that's fine all i've got to do now is bear the wires down and wire up the plug socket Right, that's the wiring cutting off. Um, the outer casing tucked back and uh, the wire stripped with a pair of um, wire cutters and a crimping tool. And I'm going to do exactly the same with these as Bailey have done with their originals. Plugged, put two cable ties on the things to stop them pulling out of the uh, back mount and then uh, run the wiring exactly the same as they've done theirs. I'll get that done now. All right, now time to wire up the plug. I've just put the uh, cover over the back plate cover for the plug socket, and now it's just time to wire it up. Remembering brown goes to live, blue to neutral, and green to the earth pin in the middle place. So we'll get that done now. So first of all, the two browns, which is the live, Make sure they're pushed all the way in. Get a screwdriver. Pass your drive on these tight. Make sure they're nice and tight. And just give both brown wires a tug. Make sure they're in place, which they are. Then we'll do the two neutrals, which are the blue, both blues. Pushed in. Tighten the screw up. Again, just give them a tug to make sure that they're in tight. And what's left to do then is the two earths. And they go in the bottom. Make sure the push wire in. Hold them in place, tighten the screw up. Check that they won't pull out. That's that, and that's done. Identical to the the Bailey one now. Two browns, two blues, two earths, just to make up the loop. Well, that's the cable ties put on now, and all you have to do now is cover the back of the socket up with these brackets, with the with these back boxes. You've got two little clips that clip into the grooves on here. So all you do is just push them in. Don't matter which way round they go, and just snap them into place. As you can see, the little ears are folded over the top of the front plug now, and that's all as one unit. All that's left to do now is put the backing plate on over the plug socket, uh, light switch, and USB. And now we've been three of them, and uh, I bet that's going to be quite fiddly. Let's have a go. Especially trying to keep them in place. Yeah, looks like it's twisted. Sorted. I've got a line of the screw holes up now. 
from putting the screws back in. Good thing about magnetic screwdrivers, you put the screw on it, it'll stay there. Now you've got to do now is put the screws in and level it up. All the screws in place. What we got to do then is snap the uh, front on, and it's done. Just got to do the same on the other side now. Uh, put them in position, and then uh, literally uh, put the back plate on, screw it on, face plate on, and I'll show you when I've done that. Well, there you go. Then that's the finished article. So we've got a uh, light switch both sides for the little uh, lights above the sockets, a plug socket each side and the USB CNA. Really pleased with that, it looks really OEM. I'll put a before and after picture on after, the, after this. So if you like what you saw, please like, share, subscribe. It does help the channel. And until the next one, guys, We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.